Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. There's the dot back again. Um, it's a few hours later from the last video, which I haven't posted yet. So it's always weird to talk about something you haven't seen. Uh, this is black and white series video number three. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple, maybe three eight by eights, and if I have leftover paint, a six by six. I forgot to show you a couple uh, finished results from the last video. Um, one of which was the first of the uh, black and white series, this guy. I don't know if the red goes on the top or the bottom. Uh, I do like, um, normally I wouldn't like that, you know, that chocolate color either at the top or the bottom, but because uh, we were experimenting with the shades of black and white, I think it's kind of cool. I'm having deja vu. Maybe I did show it to you. I can't remember. If I did, Roll with it. Uh, <laughs> there's the cells on this guy. Super pretty, very, a uh, um, lot of drama, a lot of interest. I think it can go either way. Uh, yeah, when I, you know, stick it on a little thing on my wall and hang it up on a wall, it, it definitely grabs your attention when you walk in a room. So there's that guy. And then just real quick, um, I put up a video snippet on my Instagram account and on Facebook of a pour with the leftover colors um, from series two, I guess, uh, with the uh, violet and the turquoise. And this one did have the gold in it. And it's just this little eight by 10 canvas. Really super pretty. So liking him a lot. And it's dry already, just hanging out waiting for varnish. And I'm filming tonight, it's uh, Thursday night, because I'm gonna take uh, a few days off. I have a whole bunch of uh, paintings to varnish and hopefully get started on a couple of resin pieces and spend time with my family and uh, catch up with you guys on Monday. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So these are little guys, I'll be able to get you down pretty close, right? Kinda like that, that looks pretty great. So color choices for this, uh, I have Artist Loft Violet, which I chose because it's like Goldilocks, not too dark, not too light. It's just right. There's my consistency. I'm using the same pouring medium um, ratios for all of these just for consistency purposes. So it's still the uh, six ounces of the golden color pouring medium in gloss, 10 ounces of Elmer's glue wall and six ounces of water, one to one ratio, a little bit of water if you need it. So there's the violet. Um, I almost made it with all the same brand because I do have Artist Loft in Vermilion, which is this lovely color right here. Ooh, ah. And then I ruined it because um, I was using Artist Loft Naples Yellow but I realized Naples yellow is very soft and buttercupy and um, a bit lighter than Naples yellow hue. And I wanted the, the bolder choice with these two colors. So I only had a little bit of this and a little bit of that and I put them together and it's somewhere in the middle. So there's my uh, Naples yellow U light, we'll call it. That guy's empty. And then of course, my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in the black and white. And there we go. And uh, I started, when I picked these colors, what inspired me was um, a flashback to the um, collaboration pour I did with Jenny Post when we did the open cups. She did an open cup pour with a yellow base that was stunning, like absolutely stunning. I'm not gonna do an open cup pour, I'm just gonna do the flipping lips. But um, I did want to use yellow and use a lot of it. So if you can tell, all three of these, uh, all of these cups are quite full. Um, hopefully so that I can do three eight by eights and a six by six. Um, I scraped, I tried to use leftover paint and it was a fail. And this is my first time using these panels after all, you know, after three years, I just have never bought them. 
They're the ones you get at Michael's. Um, they seem okay. I'm, you know, because I'm an ampersand girl. Um, and they, you know, they don't have the natural sides like the ampersands do that I really like. I guess you could, you can kind of see a line there if you wanted to tape it off, but then you don't have the natural wood showing. Um, so I'm going to give these a go tonight. Hopefully they won't warp. All right. Enough of all the, uh, the midistrivia. So let me add my spot on. And that's how you have to say it for those who are new to my channel. You can't say spot on. You have to say, say it with a British accent. It's mandatory. So it's spot on. Uh, I don't know why. It just is. It's a rule. So I'm adding four drops, three, maybe five to that one, to everything except the white. Give those a quick little stir. Dunk them in there. And that should do it. So this first cup, I'm gonna treat the black and white like, you know, regular colors. Um, and not worry about always layering with white first. I'm gonna actually do my first one and layer it with a whole bunch of yellow because I'm intrigued, curious. And then let's do the violet. purple, I mean the purple, the, oh, the vermilion, and make a bunch of gray and do white and black, Now I'm actually going to throw a little bit of yellow on top of this again. And that'll be plenty of pink for this 8x8. Just something like that. Just for, you know, for giggles. Let's see what we get. If you don't like it, I'll scrape it and do it again. See what we get. We got a whole black, a bunch of black and gold. Hmm. Let's add some more to it. Those sides, and then we'll lift it. Oh, I missed. Really, a lot of gold. I mean, yellow. Where are the other colors? We'll see if they they show up. We need something a little more right here. There we go. All right, selective torching up high. I've been trying to be uh, much more mindful of my torching ever since the uh, wine pour where I was kind of crazy with the torch. And I'm going right there, and that should do her. Oh, look at the orange cells popping up. Let's see, I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this at all. We'll see. The colors, I mean. I don't know if I like the colors together. But let's see. Let's go off here. Work our way over. There. I don't know. I don't know what I think of this. I think I needed to add some black to the purple for more drama, is what I'm thinking. Maybe if you get rid of some of the yellow, it'll help. A little too much yellow. Too much of a good thing. Yeah, I think that helped a lot, right? 
I want to get some rid of some on this one uh, corner too, a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. See that helped. Got a nice uh, design going with my where I uh, lift it. Let me stop and stare. See what I think. Let me put things in the middle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna add some baby cells right there. And uh, say ta da. Yep. little baby guys right there yeah breaking up that yellow again right there let's see if they're nice ones oh yeah they're adorable okay that's good and that's it because I don't want it to be too too busy so okay lesson learned there not so much with the yellow or we try it again and we have the yellow touch the black and have the purple touch the black and see what happens. Yeah, that's what we'll do. No, I don't like that. <laughs> so, so damn picky. Yeah. Just let me pour that off just a little bit and come back. Yeah, okay. I'm always looking at the edges. All right, that's better. All right, good to go. We'll zoom in. I can hold it up close and we'll zoom in on them all later. I just stuck my finger right there. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Can I come down and get it off? Yeah, there, oh, come on. There we go. Without messing up the whole damn thing. There we go, so number one. I like that. Let me know what you think. Move him off to the side. Oh my gosh, Karen, you and your fingers, for Pete's sakes. Hold on. There we go. There's number one. I have a bunch of paint in my cup and a lot of it looks like the yellow and black. I'm gonna do the six by six next. Just out of curiosity. Now this is an ampersand panel here, so my sides are taped. Um, and see how I have the uh, yellow and black? I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna add, now let me think about this. I'm gonna do white. I'm gonna do black. Then I'm gonna do yellow. And this is gonna be plenty for this. Just a dog, I'll do half and half of the orange and the purple because this is small and I don't need all this paint. There we go. Ooh, I like that much better already. Look at that. Let that sit and spread a second. Yeah. The black and the uh, yellow had to, had to meet up. I love this too, with the orange and the yellow and the black. Looks like a little sunset. A little pop of purple. 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 Come to us. All right. I want to keep the purple. 
right? Or do I not care because the orange and the red and the black are so cool? Let me go. We'll go over here first. Right, yep. Yeah. A little more, and then we'll walk. Come down to this one corner. We're just gonna pinch it together. And then let release, there we go. And then we're gonna do the same, we're gonna lose that cool black cell, but what are you gonna do? There. And then one other side over here, which is caterpillar land, so bye-bye, <laughs> suckers. I'm gonna keep some of those yellow cells, so. <clears throat> That's fantastic. That's fantastic, if I do say so myself. Love that. Like a hundred times more than that first one. We'll leave that first one live for a while, um, but that's, that's just gorgeous. I wish it had a little more of the, um, the purple or the violet, but good golly, look at that. That's Karen standards right there, y'all. That's what I'm aiming for. Yep, love it. Let me uh, put them off to the side too. Wipe off my hands, hold on. Just cause I gotta move my torch. So uh, thoughts and prayers going out to uh, Jen Neal from Res Inspired Art. The other gal I had done a um, collaboration with, she is going in for back surgery tomorrow morning. So keep her in your thoughts. She's been putting it off for a long, long time. And uh, is finally biting the bullet. So speedy recovery to her. I think she posted one last video tonight too, which is to, uh, so you guys would have something to watch while she's recuperating oh my gosh one last look at this one right all right that's out of my way all right grab one of these uh, eight by eights and let's change the order a bit this time Because I didn't like that yellow. And the purple's been kind of kind of out of action. And I do want the purple and black to mix up. So let's do this. Let's start with the white. And then the purple. And some drama with the purple and the black. And then we'll add that yellow too. That makes like an interesting shade of gray. And then we'll do the orange. <clears throat> and we'll go for a little more. And these two touching. And then the black on that purple again. Maybe some white on top too. Just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, excuse me. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the more I look at the second one, the less I like the first one, for sure. But we'll see, we'll see after we get done with three or the next two. Whoa, hello, white. 
Oh, nice to meet you. I hope there's some color under there. Where did all the purple go? Let me stretch it out just a little bit. See if anything shows up. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I have a purple line and an orange one. Uh, let's give it a tour of suit, wait, see if anything comes up. So it's taking me longer with the torch because I'm doing it from really kind of far away. I'm trying not to get those, but you know, they love me. I don't know what it is. Let those sit a second. This is a wild one. All right, I don't like the bikini corner, so that's going off. So let's go that way first. Even though there's a couple cute cells nearby. Well, those cells can go off. Huh. I'm trying to get rid of all those caterpillars. Or at least some of them. Hold on, I'm going to push the issue with the damn caterpillars. All right, that's better. They don't look like body parts now. Wow, what do we think? We think we like that one too. All the stretching made the cells big. Go off this one corner a little bit. Come back. Line these purple guys up in the middle. Wow. All right, that's pretty awesome. Am I sounding like I'm bragging? I don't mean to. It's more that I'm like, you know, like all of us, you just get in awe of the colors. Like, I don't know. This art form is just so magical to me. It's total magical. Total. That's not even a phrase. You know what I mean. Right? It's just magic. Ta-da. I will say on that one. I'll bring him up so you can see. Like that. Like this, whoops, I should make sure I'm on my little stands. Make sure I don't drip too. Like these right here, with the lines going through them, those are cool, those are hella cool. This, I can live with it, but man, I wasn't happy with it at first. Uh, yeah. Let me find a home for him. Oh, I need to grab a cup. Fast forward a second. Okay. I'm gonna 
let's move him up to the side. I hope these don't warp. I hope these don't warp. Please don't warp. having technical difficulty. Sorry. Give me one sec. I'm rearranging my countertop. These are all just to the right of me and I'm left-handed so I, I feel confident that I won't bump into them. All right, one more and we're done. And let's see, what do we want to do? That turned that 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 last one turned out completely different from what I thought it would. Although the purple is darker, the purple and black, I will I will take that back because that did help um, that part. So let's do. Let's sandwich the um, let's do purple first, and sandwich the black in between to see what we get between the. So we'll do this, and we'll use the black and white as sandwiches. And then this, and then the white. And then the yellow. So there we go, that's a fairly organized layering. And then if I, if I decide to do that first one over again, I have enough paint. I have like just enough paint. Uh, do I want black on top of that yellow? Why? Why yes, yes you do. Yeah, that first one, y'all, it's like if the second and third one weren't so phenomenal, I would leave the first one, but it, it just looks, it doesn't look anywhere near as nice, is <laughs> all I can say, um, in comparison to the other guys. And I don't know about you guys, but I am loving the whole black and white series thing. I just love the blending of the colors. I'm tempted to like pick my favorite color combination and buying like eight like five by fives and using the same five colors on all eight of them and making like a series because you know all eight would be like drastically different. I might do that, just for giggles. There's the black and gold again. Steeler colors. Ooh, the deep purple. the rest of this deep purple out of this cup because that's just too pretty. Huh. Completely different from the last guy with all the white. This one's like all moody and like film noir or something. Does that make you any, any, any sense at all? I'm just gonna go over there for a second before I torch it. I wanted to keep that purple in the corner. 
This might be one time where I'm, I'm not going to worry about my bikini corner because I like it that one so much. All right. Some careful torching. at the end. <gasps> you son of a bee. Ugh. Oh. I'm so mad right now. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad at those. Oh, yeah, bye. These other guys gotta come off too. Bye, caterpillars. Yeah, all the way. Two over. So I only need like a half a cup. Because I'm going to use that paint to push things around. And I just, that in the middle. I'm just not having it. What can I tell you? Not having it. Let me put the orange and uh, yellow together. I don't think I've done that. Yeah, let me put the three colors together and then bookmark them with the uh, black and white. I do want that dark purple to come back and then the white. And I think I still have enough if I want to redo uh, the first guy. Yeah, bye. different again. Let's uh, get rid of all the excess paint. Oh, I like my pattern I made. That's kind of cool. And then take off these cells from the last pour. All right. I think I am, um, along with the, um, after the after we're done with the black and white series and I do my eight um, little ones, the next thing on my um, to-do list, so to speak, is um, do a big, do a couple big pours like this with no cells, which I know a couple of you have um, asked me for, and I really, really do want to do that. Um, I will probably use the uh, Liquitex pouring medium for those, uh, and, and no silicone and just go for, uh, something gorgeous like this, you know what I mean? Without any cells. So those will be coming on my list.
It's like I can't, I can't get away from them. We're just going to stop there. There's one caterpillar. The ones are really cool. He's like uh, multicolored. He's like a rainbow caterpillar, so I'm going to let him live. And the other two, I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about them. So, they win tonight. They just win. Like this guy, this guy's cool. This guy's half gone. That one's like on the edge. It actually looks his little face. He's kind of cute. These guys kind of merge. This guy, oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm actually not liking this one um, so much. It kind of, it's a little muddy to me right up in here. Yeah, I just ruined this one. I just, I just can't handle the caterpillars. I don't know, maybe not. Let me see. If I can sort out the cells. Well, it looks like the first one's going to get to live because I'm going to run out of paint. Um, and I'm going to let that first one live and redo that. That's just... That's just bad. Bad juju, bad. Yeah, it's kind of muddy too. Maybe I should have scraped it to begin with. And for those of you um, who worry about like all the leftover paint on my tarp and everyone writes in comments about what I can do with it, it gets recycled, y'all. I, I happen to live in a county where they take my paint and recycle it at our local dump. We save it up in a can. And my husband, being the good soul that he is, takes the can for me every so often. We have a couple big ones. You can buy them at Home Depot or Lowe's. Paint, just empty, they're big silver, um, empty paint cans. And we just buy a couple of them, we hand them in, they pour them into this big vat and they give us the cans back and that's what we do. So have no fear about um, the paint on my tarp, please. Uh, all right, let's try it again. What do I have left? Let's go orange this time. orange and black. This is gonna this is starting to turn into a long video because I've had to do this one twice. I'm sorry. Orange, black, yellow, purple. 
white. So this one should be kind of bright and cheerful, we hope. Just a little more orange. And a little more yellow. <laughs> I need a happy looking one. At this point, no, I got black in it. That's all right. Yes, there's happy. There's a bit of um, deep purple coming out of my cup. I put him on the end. I don't get poured off, but it's pretty. See, I really think like this would look gorgeous all by itself, right? Like, and I'd like, um, I really do like Liquitex pouring medium for projects like that. I find it, um, I find the colors are incredibly vibrant. All right, so that one did kind of come out chipper looking. Let's see how the, I'm like afraid to torch. I don't like. I don't like that little blob. On this one end, it can go off. Off you go. I don't like the bikini on this side. Off you go. And I think I'm just going to bring this back and leave it. Or maybe kill off this half of a caterpillar. And just get to this one corner off. I like the pattern a lot. I don't know if I can come off and get any of that caterpillar off the other end a little bit. Just a little. Stretch out the cells. I like the minimalist look of this guy a lot. <gasps> yeah. I'm liking this one. turn him around. He's cool. Yep, I love the white on the bottom. Like this way, the orientation. Ta-da! How long is this video? I feel like I've been painting for like five hours. I love the little two baby purple cells. How long? How long? 44 minutes. Typical Karen video. I could, um, I can see if I have enough to kill off this last one, the one that's bugging me, that first one, because these other three are just heads and tails better than the first one. So let me find a home for this guy. Put another cup down. These all need to get on stairs. Bear with me one second, just fast forward. I'm 
and bring him up. See that one? All right, first guy. Let me take a look at him. Oops. <laughs> Let me do that again. Leave the cup behind this time. If I could pour off like this cluttered part, maybe I could live with it. But I think when I do, the cells are going to go wonky. We'll see if I can straighten them out again. That might be all right. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to live with that. Just that one little thing. It's making me happier. Yep. So yeah, to that, I'm gonna put him back. I'm done. I'm not gonna re redo that guy. Are you crazy? What are you talking about, woman? You're nuts. Okay, hold on, let me wipe off my hands, get you guys down. Here's the first guy. Hopefully I fixed him. He's just so retro looking to me. Like it's a 1960s dance. I forget the name of the shows they used to have, like the like bandstand something. Uh, when I was, I was a wee little that they used to have and they would dance to. It was old like disco. That's what that reminds me of for, for whatever reason. So there's that one. And then the second guy here, the little six by six. Love. <gasps> total, total happiness with that guy. And then the third one as well. Love. Love, love. There's that one. And then this last one too. Really quite, quite taken with this last one too. Very cool. So yeah. There's the, uh, what's that, the third series. Uh, I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. Uh, one more. Um, looking for ideas. I have one color scheme in mind, but if uh, you hit me up with something really intriguing, I'm, I'm apt to use it. So let me know. And then uh, the fifth one, again, will be metallics. So uh, I'll see you guys soon. Um, have a great weekend, and uh, take care, okay? Bye-bye.